Greetings, ladies and gentlefish, and welcome back to Final Fantasy IX. Um, last time we made our way through Ibsen's castle, and on this occasion we are going to continue on with the plotline. Now, I highlighted this last time and I'll do it again. At this point, you've got access to the airship, so you can go and do side quests and, and stuff to your heart's content if you so wish. Um, you could go and visit Chocobo's Forest or Chocobo's Lagoon, you could... Uh, search for chocographs, you could go to the Q's marshes, you could get abilities for Queena. Most of the side, a lot, a chunk of the side quests revolve around Queena. Um, whatever. Uh, you go and visit Trino and buy some auction house stuff or... Anyway, I'm going to save that for a little bit later. I'm just going to continue on with the plot for now. So, the first place we're going to is the Water Shrine. Um, your party is going to pair off. Oh, the water shine's literally just over here, it's not very far. Your party's going to pair off for this, and this is where I'm going to make, I'm going to critique them on their uh, tactical acumen. Some of the pairs make sense, and some of the pairs really do not. Ico has already, no, like, made it obvious what the first pair is going to be, Dagger and Ico. Now, if you were splitting up your party of eight individuals, and they were each going to a separate location, wouldn't you choose individuals who could cover for each other's weaknesses? So maybe don't have the two white mages go together? I mean... So Ico says I want to go with Dagger. Surely someone should just go, you're a six-year-old. No. You know, so I, I would... Something like, let's say, Vivi and Steiner go well together. They complement each other and they have a whole sword magic thing going. So that makes sense. Then have something like... Um... Freya and Aiko, if she really wants to chat to another girl. Although I appreciate Freya isn't exactly the girliest girl, but whatever. Dagger and Amaranth, and then Zidane and Queen, or I don't know, something like that. But they're not the pairings they go with. So, anyway, it is what it is. Water Shrine time. Are you going to be okay by yourselves? You're the one who suggested we split up. What, don't you trust me and Dagger? No, you just have a terrible pairing. It's... Uh. Also, you're taking all the healing of the party away from everyone else. Or at least most of the healing. It's not that I don't trust you. It's just that this is a terrible idea. You better get going. We need to take all points simultaneously. You're right. Where are you going next? And who are you going to drop off? My power is protected higher atop a fiery mountain. I think I'll ask Freya and Amaran to take that location. Alright now, get going. Don't make us ladies wait. I'll be back to get you guys soon. Well, now that the men are gone, we can do all the girl talk we want. Girl talk? So they go off to the water shrine. And then you reform another party, but it really doesn't matter who you choose, because you're going to keep pairing off. Um, right, next. On top of Fiery Mountain, I'm pretty sure you can guess where that is. There's only one mountain in this entire world. Sorry. There's only one volcano in this entire world, i.e. a Fiery Mountain. That is, of course, Mount Gulag, over yonder. Hey, listen. There we go. And in we go. I don't know. Maybe it's just a dodgy translation. We're going to overheat. Just a little closer. Zidane, the heat is going to kill the engine if we get any closer. Okay. When we get closer to the volcano, you two head for the shrine's entrance. Why do I have to go with her? Oh, sorry. Did you want to go with Aiko? Amran's just being a whiny little baby. Good luck! Alright, our next destination is pre protected behind a tornado. Pairing up Steiner and Queena seems like a bad idea. I think I'll ask Vivi to babysit Steiner. Right, so. There's a place I said we'd visit. Um, again. Kind of flew, pla flew past it. Oh, I cannot word today. English is my nemesis. Flew past it. So we have to go south along the Forgotten Continent once more. And we're going to come across a place that's all windy-like. I just need to remember exactly where it is. Oh, that looks promising. Nope, that's oil there. Not south, 
not far enough south. South enough. There we go. Do you remember that gusty valley? Let's fly right down the gusty valley. So thank you for that. Oh, wow, the wind is strong. It's the wind shrine, so it's protected by strong gusts. Be careful not to get blown away. There is no need to worry. Master Vivi, just follow me. Because, you know, Steiner's wearing a house. He has the medieval equivalent of power armor, otherwise known as armor. See? There is nothing to fear. Really? No, he is not a stud marine, you're right. I did. Master Vivi, you're okay because you're wearing armor. Let us move forward, Master Vivi. They're gonna be okay. But I'm with Queen, or I should worry more about myself. We should check our equipment and see what blue magic Queena can use. My power is protected under the shaking ground, huh? So, you as Zidane must go with Queena. I've already checked their equipment and abilities and I'm happy with them. Now, this is not entirely a bad thing because this is the only boss in the entire game that Queena can eat, which is hilarious. Oh, sorry, yeah, there's an upcoming boss fight. You're going to a shrine that protects, like, portals to another world. I mean, it shouldn't come as a huge surprise that there's a boss fight. But there is, and Queena can eat this boss, which is hilarious. The guy's got about 20, 21,000 hit points, so you need to take off about 15, 16k before she can eat him. Let's go. Hmm? Yeah. Uh, don't use counter on Zidane in case he accidentally kills the boss. Ah, Zidane, you won't go with me. Well, I sort of got stuck with the leftovers. You know how to explain. I'm so happy. Huh? They're old saying in my tribe. Leftovers good. Let's hope we find good things in this cave. It's probably full of good food. I must admit, I, I agree with Queen. Leftovers are good. You get to enjoy the meal a second time. I don't mean vomit. You're not helping. Right, just be aware there's going to be a trap, so you have to hit the magic action button. Is no one here? Is empty? As soon as an exclamation mark appears above Zidane's head. Huh? What wrong? Did the ground just shake? This place is empty. It's too quiet. They probably got scared of us and ran away. I hope so. Ah! I hate it when you fret like that. That's why I always worry about you. What are you talking about? Oh, nothing. I just have a lot of things on my mind. Ah, look out! Hey! Be almost flat like pancake. I hope there aren't too many more of those. Dagger, please be safe. What the? It's a trap. Be careful. Ah! Let's go, Ico. Yeah, funnily enough, these areas are trapped. Hood of thumb. Is place to put mirror. And this will trigger the boss fight, so just make sure you are happy with what you're going to do. And I'm going to have Zidane steal everything he can from the Earth Guardian. You get a good, and then Queen is going to eat him. Basically, we're getting our money's worth out of this boss fight. This is not a hard boss fight, um, but just before we go into it, I want to highlight that you want to protect yourself against. Can you guess which element? Given that this is the Earth Shrine. Pink. Pink is not an element. Pink is barely even a colour. So, earth damage. So I've got Zidane with Gaia gear, which absorbs earth elemental attack, so he will actually get healed by the earth damage. And actually, if I give Queen us the Gaia gear as well, she can absorb it, which would be even better. There we go. Um, I did have her with auto float, but if she's going to absorb the damage anyway, let's not bother with auto float. Uh, let's instead hit the magic level, level up button. So she can gain more XP. Oh no, there's no XP, it's a boss fight. Ability up then, there we go. And that's pretty much it. 
Honestly, with this setup, this is a really difficult boss fight to lose. Now watch me do it. Um, Queena can use White Wind to heal the two of them if necessary, but they've both got auto regen. They both absorb Earth Element. The only thing he's got left is his physical attacks, and I think the guy does cast death every once in a blue moon. But I've got a nice stockpile of Phoenix Downs in case that becomes an issue. So... Let's do this. Oh, have I got the um, Bandit and Master Thief on Zidane? Master Thief, Bandit, and then... Yeah, Auto Regen, Auto Haste, HP up 20%. Cool. Let's just check that. Yep, yeah, Ori Halcon, Bistro Fork. Let's get this show on the road. I'll place the mirror right here. I've been waiting for you. That was too easy. It must have been disappointing for you. Now, I'll place the mirror here. Freya, stand back. It's just as Kuja said. He said I should expect intruders. Yes. Are you under Kuja's command? He not good person. Why you work for him? No. We are the Guardians of Terror. Guardians of Terror? Yes, we are the Guardians of Terror, filled with the power of Terror itself. Nice hair, dearie, by the way. Like, it's a lot of hair. It's almost as if sort of Bayonetta had a child with a fire mage or something. That's all her hair. Red hair. Anyway, what is terror? We did not become guardians to chat with mortals. We derive pleasure from ending your worthless lives. Just to prove how powerful you are. So you understand, but will that knowledge help you? Foolish. What? Picking fights with strangers in a place like this? I used to know someone like that. He was a loser. He refused to find beneficial ways to use his power. Instead, he'd seek out people to fight. Amaran? What are you talking about? We'll show you what he means. Interesting, but you'll regret this. Fear my magical hair. She didn't actually say that. Ah! Finished already? Such weaklings. You! He's too fast. I can't target him with my magic. We can't take him on with just the two of us. Master Vivi, a true man never gives up in a fight. But we can defeat this monster if we work together. So, which one of you will perish first? Silence! I shall vanquish you. What? Master Vivi, I shall attempt to hold him down. You attack him with your magic while I hold him down. But what if I miss the target? I trust you, Vivi. Okay. Ah! Finally, a little bit of intellect. Kuja told us there'd be eight rats. Sorry, it's just the two of us. Did you have a feast prepared? You no worry, we eat everything. Ah, so you're attempting to conquer all four shrines at once. How futile. We'll see about that. Must try eating before we give up. This is Queena's unsubtle way. Literally, she just said, must try eating before we give up. It's the game's way of saying, eat the damn guy. What will you lower life forms do on Terra? We won't know until we get there. Must eat to find out what tastes good is my lesson from travelling around world. Good. I shall show you the true meaning of fear. He's a massive letdown, I'll be honest, especially well, if you're prepared, he's a massive letdown. Yes. To quote Loki. Yeah, he says showing the true meaning of fear, yes, Queena is going to eat you. And it's not going to be nice. You want to talk about fear? She's going to eat... Oh, I stole the Avenger already. That was nice and easy. Um, what else has he got? Oh, okay. Couldn't steal anything. He's got one more item that I want for him, and then we're just going to wail on him and eat him. Oh, he uses thunder magic as well. Okay, he does do something else. Oh no, Zidane just got zapped. Whatever shall he do? That was quite a lot of damage, to be fair. Uh, just in case. White wind. I felt the floor shake there, cat. Jesus. I know. Just in case, we'll throw a white wind on to shove some healing that way. Um, 
Double slash. He does do a reasonable amount of damage, I would like to point out, when he's not using Earth Attacks. Um. Blizzarga. Oh, he uses Ice Magic as well. He uses a greater number of elements than I remember. That was quite a lot of damage. Stole Rubber Suit. I don't have a weakness, no. I've just forgotten how much damage the guy does. Right, let's wail on him. He needs to die. Fire a girl this time. And it's Zidane again. Oh no, Zidane's gone into a trance. Whatever shall I do? There we go. There's 3,355 damage to his face. Buy potion on Zidane. Grand lethal to his face. Earthquake! Both my characters will heal up any hit points they've lost because they absorb earth damage. There we go. Zidane's back on full health. <laughs> How much is this going to do? Max damage, cool. One more physical attack from Zidane, and then Queen is going to eat him. And that should be enough. So I've stolen everything he's carrying, and Queen is about to eat his face. No. Learned Earth Shake. He's dead. I just now have images of the fight ending with Queena just chowing down on this poor guardian of terror. <laughs> Thinking he's such a badass and then realising he is now on the menu and wondering what on earth happened for this. And Zidane's just casual. All done! <laughs> Has anyone seen Former Alchemist? If you have, I'm thinking gluttony and... Yeah, Lust just kind of, yeah, you finish doing what you're doing. I'll just be over here continuing with the plot. Oh, jeez. I wonder if everyone okay. Yeah, I'm pretty sure they're waiting for us by now. Right, we go back to airship now. Um, that's not the only occasion on which you can learn that ability, by the way, but it's, well, it's a good one. So it took three attacks plus a nom. Oh, and I spent the rest of the time trying to steal off him. Fresh air, finally. Zidane is unbelievable. Asking us ladies to fight a monster like that. He didn't really. Oh my gosh, what's wrong, Iko? Oh, I completely forgot and we're all alone too. W what is it? There's a question I need to ask you. I've been waiting for a chance to ask you for the longest time. Give me an honest answer, okay? Well, you have to ask the question before I can answer. This was the reason that she wanted the two of them to go together. Because she's a stupid little six-year-old. Do you love Zidane? But what? Why... You have to answer me. Do you love him or not? She doesn't have to do anything of the sort. She can answer you if she wants, and she won't if she doesn't want to. Hey, it's the airship. Zidane's back. Did you just say something, Dagger? Let's go, Ico. Hey, wait. That's not fair. Yeah, well, tough. Nasty little girl. Well, now that we've got everyone, we can head to Shimmering Island. Hey, Amaran. I didn't know you were here. So we'll go to Shimmering Island, then to Terra? Yeah, it's near Esto Gaza. It won't take long. Tell me something. What motivates you to do this? You have a choice. It just changes the conversation. I'm going to go with I don't know. I really don't know. You don't even know what, why you do the things you do? I didn't say that. Maybe I do it because I don't know what motivates me. To understand something is interesting, but what's already understood is boring. I'm sure we'll understand something when we go to Shimmering Island and go to Terra. I'm beginning to understand why he won and I lost. I lost against his way of thinking. Well, how nice. Right, um... Curiosity killed the monkey, Jesus Christ. Uh, we're going to keep Queena with us, because now we're going to take it upon ourselves to do a little bit of nom nom nom. Um, and who else? Let's go with Amaranth and Ico, because they're the two lowest levels. Right, now, I just want to highlight something. At this point, your next destination 
is the Shimmering Isle. I'm just going to go to the Shimmering Isle so you know where it is. There are many, a bunch of little side things you can do at the moment, of course. Uh, no, that's not the Shimmering Isle. There's the Shimmering Isle. So if I go up here, you can see I have a little enter thing in Magic Cube, but I'm not going to enter. Um, there, right. You're going to Terra. You're not going to spend the rest of the game in Terra, but when you get back, the world's going to look very different. Uh, the life tree is going to go a little bit psycho and there are going to be roots everywhere and what this means in practical terms is that there will be some locations that you no longer have access to. So, this is your last opportunity to do anything in the following places. Condipati, Condipati Mountain Path, Desert Palace, Estogaza, Fossil Rule, Fossil Rue, sorry, All Gates, North Gate, South Gates and all that jazz. The Ice Cavern, the Eifer Tree, Mount Galag, Observatory Mountain, Oilver and Pinnacle Rocks. This is your last chance to visit those places. If you're happy that you've done everything there, then bully for you and go and do what you want. I'm going to spend some time doing um, extra bits in the game, so I'm going to go and do chocobo stuff, frog eating, get abilities for Queena, all that good stuff now. Um, that is my plan before continuing on to uh, the actual storyline. So, with that said and done, we're just going to save our game here, and I will catch you guys in the next video. Ciao, ciao.